Hey guys, um, so if you looked at the title of this video and you shook your head, that is fine. Shake away. Shake away. And if you want to take your finger and you want to wag it at me, <laughs> that is okay as well. You guys, yes, the title is correct. I have switched my story once again. I don't know why. This is the problem why I cannot complete a project because I start something and then I go, ooh, maybe I want to write this story or I find some reason not to write that story. I want to move on to the next one. So <sighs> when I decided that I was going to get really right back into writing and I needed to publish another book, I decided I'm going to publish my uh, book one in my uh, series, Thicker Than Water. And I started that one and it just wasn't flowing properly. It wasn't coming naturally for me. So then I said, you know what? I'm going to write the first book in my Even Angel series. And I started that one. And it's not that that wasn't coming naturally for me or wasn't flowing for me. Um, but I definitely was struggling a little bit because I'm writing that particular series in first person and I'm more comfortable in third person. So I started writing that and then um, stumbled along and then I decided, you know what, I'm going to write a little bit at a time from each story. Why, I don't know. But so I took the t like each story that I have um, either written or planning on writing, I opened up a Word um, Excel spreadsheet. I put all of that in there and then I put their current word numbers in there. And then when I did that, I started to write a little bit for each one. I, writing sprints, I would write on this one and then the next writing sprint, I would write on a different one. Then I looked at the, the word count and I said, hmm, my book two in the five sister series is at 26,000 words. And now you may ask yourself, well, if it's at 26,000 words, why are you not finishing it? That is a very good question. And that is one that I asked myself as well. It's the one that's closest to being finished. So why am I not working on it? So uh, that is why I switched my story again. Yes, I am going to work on Revealed, which is book two in the Five Sister series. People have been asking me for this book since Power was released in 2014. And I kept saying, it's, com it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And I would write on it, work on it a little bit. And then I would move to another project. But it is coming this time, you guys. And so that brings me to the purpose of this video and the videos coming forward. I was watching um, Katie Tastic's videos from 2018 when she did weekly uh, vlogs and basically just kind of did that to show her progress. Like I know people do writing vlogs all the time. I've seen them. I've even done a couple. Um, but one of the questions that she was asked when she got done with the writing vlog before she moved on to her revisions um, was, did she feel that recording kept her on track? And she said, yes. She said, yes. She said that if she wasn't keeping it up, uh, like posting and being sure that she needed to post and needed to keep a word count goal or needed to, to share what her progress was, that she would have fallen behind. So I decided... That will probably work for me because I have no accountability. I have nobody holding me accountable but myself. And I go, well, I'll just do this one and I'll do this one and I'll do this one. And I keep flip-flopping back and forth. But if I commit myself to this one story for this time period and commit myself to recording a vlog and updating you guys on where I am with my progress on it, um, and then if I come on here and say I switched to another story I expect you guys to come into the comments and be like Taquanda no <laughs> no Taquanda go back to revealed it's almost ready you need to go back to revealed like I have I'm flip-flopping back and forth and I have nobody holding me accountable um and I kind of feel like I need that to continue the story so um I it is today <laughs> let me get do this part today is Tuesday May 21st and the schedule that I have put myself on for all of my writing projects and all of my endeavors that I have got going forward says that I need to finish the draft of this book and I'll go into more detail about the draft of this book. I need to finish the draft of this book by May 31st. 
Yes, <laughs> you heard me correctly. So as I said, I had already started writing this and I had put it on hold um, and went back to it. So this is kind of the first slash second draft of this story. I wrote it entirely and came up with 26,000 words. I'm going back to it and I've been back over it the last couple of days um, and just going and making some changes and realizing that I needed to step away from the story a little bit and came back. And I'm like, okay, no, this will work in telling the story because this story revealed deals with a lot of flashbacks and uh, one of my things uh, one of the problems that I was having with it was struggling with how to incorporate the flashbacks with what's going on in the present um, so I figured that out and I'm working on it so I'm gonna say the first draft kind of ended with about 26,000 words I want to get to 50,000 words at least 50,000 words um, but I've learned that Every book is not going to be 50,000 words. You're going to have some that are going to be less and you're going to have some that are going to be more. Power, which is the first book in this series, is 34,000 words. It's over 34,000 words, but it's about 34,000 words. And I have gone over that book so many times and tried to beef it up and like, no, 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 because people say that 50,000 words make a novel. So I got to beef it up. But there is no beefing that story up. That story is done and told at 34,000 words. Like there's no more words for that story without adding in a bunch of um, uh, words that are pointless, that don't need to be there. Useless words, so it is good at 34,000 words. So as much as I would love for Reveal to get to about 50,000 words, I know that it will probably be less. I'm hoping it is more than the 26,000 that we ended with because I'm, I am making some changes. I do feel like the story is going to, um, it. I am going to beef it up more. Um, how much I'm gonna beef it up, I'm not sure. But um, as of right now, today is the 21st and my current word count goal is 27,274 words. To get to 38,657 words, um, which means I need to add another 11,363 words this week. Um, a little bit about how my process is going to be going with this and how I'm kind of like, eh, don't know if it's going to happen, um, is I do not want, number one, I had to come up with a writing schedule. That was number one. I was just, I had no routine and I'm trying to come up with a routine to try to get me on track here. So number one is I do not write on Sundays. Sundays is a day of rest. Like that is the one day where I can just kind of be lazy. Of course, I do still have a full-time job and I do still work on Sundays. Not every Sunday, but I do still work on Sundays. So I like to leave work and then just come home and just decompress from the stress of working that job. Um, so that is number one. I do not work on Sundays. Number two is I only work or write between the hours of nine through five, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. After 5 p.m., all writing is done. I can do whatever else I want to do, but between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now, this is a little tricky because um, for the next, I believe, three weeks, um, I have a pretty much a set schedule where I am working from 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. That will change. Um, I don't know how it will change. I will probably still be working 5.30 to 2.30. Um, I may do... Uh, move to 10 to 7s. If I do move to 10 to 7s, um, then those days where I work 10 to 7, it won't be all the time. But the days that I do work 10 to 7, there will be no writing because I'll be outside of um, my writing time. Um, the days that I work 5 to 2, when I come home, I will write until 5 o'clock. So that'll give me about two hours writing time to get some words done. And I'll be doing this mostly with a lot of sprints. Um, so coming up this week, I am five to two. I'm five to one, um, I believe Wednesday, the 22nd. Um, so that gives me a little, an extra hour to get some writing done. Um, but I will write Friday. I am off from work. So I will be able to write all day from nine to five with an hour lunch in between. Treating this like a real job, you guys. Trying to treat this like a real job. And then Saturday, I am uh, 5 to 2, so I will write when I get home. And, of course, Sunday, I am off. That is that is my day off, my one day off in the week. Um, so we will see how uh, this goes, and I will keep you guys posted. And keep, hold me accountable in the event that I decide that I want to switch stories, which I'm not going to switch stories. I'm going to stick to this. I'm sticking to this. It's revealed. Revealed is coming, people. 
if you've read power and you've been waiting to find out what happens next and where is the second book revealed is coming okay and if you haven't read power why not i think you should buy it and then you should find out why people are begging for revealed <laughs> why people have been begging for revealed for five years so i'll keep you guys posted that's all i've got right now okay so today is wednesday <laughs> may 22nd and my current word count is 28,146 words. Not a big jump from yesterday's, but I mean, I added some words and I'm happy with the words. So let's get more of the words. Good morning. Uh, it is Friday, May. Oh my God, what is today's date? May 24th. <laughs> And um, I'm supposed to be up and having a lot of writing done. I just checked my um, time. It's like 940. So I am 44 minutes or something. I'm, I'm 40 minutes late for work. Let's just put it up like that. I don't know how that happened. My alarms were set. But yeah, I'm like 40 minutes late for work. So I'm going to get up and I take the dog out and I'm going to get to work. Oh, so tired but we gotta do this hey guys so it is saturday um i have not written for today yet but i wanted to record this video <laughs> this video because i'm going to get myself all comfortable for the evening and uh, i just don't feel like recording after that so i am gonna write but um for this week i am done with the last image that you guys saw you guys are probably like wait i thought your manuscript was close to thirty thousand words why is it at like ten thousand? why did you take so many words out so what i did was i deleted everything negative i did not delete everything i went into my word document i copied the entire manuscript i opened up a google docs um document which is actually um where all of my character profiles and things are for that story and i pasted it all there and then i went bit by bit um either copying it back into the word document or making changes to the manuscript as i went um this kind of helped me because when i sat down friday yesterday to write the story um something wasn't clicking you know, you know when you're reading your story back to yourself or when you're write, you're in the midst of writing it. I wrote the story. Um, 26,000 words. Yeah, 26,000 words. I wrote either the beginning of this year, the end of last year. I'm not exactly sure when I wrote those words down. Actually, it was had to be around NaNoWriMo because um, I actually have a Nano thing up that says I was working on Revealed. Um, so I wrote these words. It's not in any type, it wasn't in sequence. It was all of the past events uh, chapters and then all of the present event chapters. And I knew that I was gonna go back through and reread it and move things around and place it the way that it needs to be and work on beefing it up a little bit. Um, but when I sat down and I was doing basically the beefing up of the story and making changes and making it make sense, <laughs> um, something wasn't clicking for me. So I had to um, remove all of the words and go back, start at the beginning, Obviously, there's words in the story. It just works. So it's going to stay the way that it is. So I was adding those words back in, but making the necessary changes that I needed to to either add to the story or take away from the story. Unfortunately, there's some things where I would read it and I'm like, why am I repeating this sentence or repeating this phrase? Um, that doesn't make any sense. I would take words away. So I'm kind of like writing, but editing the story right now, if that makes any sense. Um, so I am still at all together with the changes that I made plus the words that are still sitting in my Google Doc I am still at about 29,000 words you know I'm almost 30,000 words um but I was writing it and there was some some story development going on some things that I hadn't thought of before but because now I'm writing it in sequence and trying to put it in the correct sequence because I sat down and I worked out the timeline not an outline because you guys all know if you've been following my channel outlining and taekwondo do not go along very well i am the most organized disorganized person ever there is chaos in my world but it makes complete sense to me so um i cannot 
outline I keep trying and I feel like I want to rip my hair off my head with trying to outline but I did sit down and I worked out the timeline a chapter timeline uh, so I was writing the story and putting it in sequence and there was some things that kind of popped out like oh wait that that makes sense why doesn't this happen because then it would kind of leave a little bit more intrigue a little bit more mystery as to this it actually there was a, uh, a scene I didn't even write the scene yet lie I did write the scene but I haven't copied <laughs> I haven't copied and pasted the scene yet in the Word document. But as I was thinking about it and as I'm trying to develop it, I came up with another story idea. Uh, like, I guess a companion series to this series. Um, so, and I also came, with it, came up with a decision that I am going to stick with the Five Sisters series for the foreseeable future. There is a lot of story to tell there. I've been trying to bounce around and... Uh, more like I have been bouncing around between all of the series that I have planned. Um, but as I was writing this um, particular book, there was things for a companion series or pretty much something that goes that ties into this story um, that I wanted to tell. So um, I think I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to stick with the five sisters and write the companion series like a novella. These are probably considered novellas because they're not 50,000 words. Um, but I'm going to write a true novella, which is going to be like less than 20,000 words or about 20,000 words, um, which is like the companion. It's going to be something that you could read in between reading these stories. Um, I'm talking a lot and moving my hands a lot. And I don't know why <laughs> I've been in a very, very up mood right now sidebar I was at work talking in a British accent <laughs> it's weird I don't know why I'm super hyper I also think I might be a little sleep deprived <laughs> could be why I'm acting like this but um anyways the reveal just coming along and I am did you guys hear that motorcycle that just went by how rude they don't know that I'm recording a video right now that is so rude um, <laughs> anyways, Revealed is coming along. Um, I'm very happy with the progress that's going on. I am working on beefing it up. Um, I don't do descriptions very well, but I'm working on when I go through another round of edits, um, and after beta reading and all of that, I'm hoping to improve upon that and, and beef that up a little bit more, beef the story up more with descriptions. Um, but it's coming along and no, I am not at 10,000 words as that image may have suggested I am close to 30,000 words um, pretty much where I was before I removed all of those words out of the word document but I'm putting them back and that is all that I have for this week I'm gonna get some writing done as I said I don't write on Sunday so there will be no writing done tomorrow um, and then I will be back writing on Monday and I will be back vlogging. I have two days off this week where I can sit down and do my nine to five writing. So I'm vlogging. I didn't do a whole lot of vlogging th during the day. So I, I, you guys saw from yesterday's clip, I did like me waking up late and saying that I was going to write and then I didn't post again or I didn't record again. So I'm going to try to improve upon that. Um, but that's pretty much all that I have for you guys. And thank you so much. This is uh, the second to last week of trying to finish this story and we will see how I do next week if I can complete this um get it off to be edited just get it out of my brain and then work on the companion story which pretty much picks up after a scene in this book um yeah so that's all I have for you guys and we'll talk to you later bye